calls to come up here and- M Mr. Chairman, point of inquiry. Mr. Chairman, um, if the, the lady recognized, if, if the general, if the general lady I wants to hear from names? Hunter Biden, we can hear from him right now, Mr. And Chairman. Let's take a vote and hear from I'm Hunter speaking. Biden. What are, are you afraid of? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Order, are order, order. Are, are, order. Women order. Are, are women allowed to speak in here or no? Are women allowed to speak in here? or no? Are, okay. are speak in here or no? Because you keep interrupting me. I, I'll interrupt the you chairman. Keep interrupting. I don't know that he's a lady. I think but, that uh, that Hunter Biden should be arrested right here, right now, and go straight to jail. Our nation. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. It's good to see you after a long break. So I'm listening to the gentlelady from South Carolina about the witness being afraid to come in front of the committee. It's interesting. He's here. He doesn't seem to be too afraid. In fact, for some reason, the chairman, who on multiple occasions invited the witness to come on TV, Apparently, the chairman wants to pretend like his statements on television or in interviews don't matter. But it didn't happen once. It didn't happen twice. It happened multiple times. The chairman said the witness can choose whether to come to a deposition or to a public hearing in front of the committee. The witness accepted the chairman's invitation. It just so happens the witness is here. If the committee wants to hear from the witness, and the chairman gave the witness that option, then the only folks that are afraid to hear from the witness with the American people watching are my friends on the other side of the aisle. I don't know if there's a proper motion, Mr. Chairman, but I'll make a motion. Let's vote. Let's take a vote. Who wants to hear from Hunter right now, today? Anyone? Come on. Who wants to hear from Hunter? The motion's out of order. No one. So I'm a visual learner, and the visual is clear. Nobody over there wants to hear from the witness. Oh, there's one. Thank you. Will you yield for a question? I'm not there yet, but I will eventually. Uh, so there's no one, well, other than one or two, that want to hear from the witness. So the majority of my colleagues over there, including the chairman, don't want to hear from the witness with the American people watching. So. Mr. Chairman, are, I, I just want to hear from you. Will you acknowledge that you invited the witness on television to choose whether he could come to a public hearing? And do you stand by your words or do you renege that invitation to the witness? To answer the question I've said repeatedly, the, after the deposition, Mr. Biden can come in front of a public hearing. Mr. Chairman, I don't want to play the video, but that is not what you said on television multiple times. Uh, we have the quotes. We can put them up. You said the witness can choose between a deposition Listen, or... Mr. Moskowitz, Mr. Biden doesn't make the rules. We make the no, rules. That, no, uh, Mr. Chairman, you make the rules. And the rule you made is that he can choose. I, that, those, the rule is... Those were your, those were your words. Reclaiming we, my time. He was issued two lawful subpoenas. Re reclaiming my time, Mr. Chairman. No, you issued those subpoenas after he took you up on your invitation to come... And then you were like, oh, no, no, oh, my God, what did, we, what did I do? I invited him to come so the American people can hear his side of the story. I put my foot in my mouth, so now I must bury him in the basement where we can decide what we're going to release to the public so that we can continue to tell that story. Mr. Chairman, you have said multiple times that this is not about Hunter. It's about Joe Biden. And even this morning on Mornings with Maria, she asked another simple question, the question you have been asked multiple times, which is, do you have evidence to impeach the President of the United States? Before, you said, I hope so. Today, you said, I think so. And the answer is, you don't. And you still don't. And so we continue to be here and have these charades. To my colleagues who talk about lawful subpoenas, I appreciate the gentle ladies the gentlelady from South Carolina who voted to, to hold people in contempt. Listen, I'll, I'll make this bipartisan. I'll vote for the Hunter contempt today. You can get my vote. You can get my vote. But I want you to show the American people that you're serious. Here is the subpoena to Representative Scott Perry, who did not comply. I'd like to enter this into the record. Here is the subpoena to Mark Meadows. I'd like to enter this into the record, who did not comply. Here is the subpoena to Jim Jordan, who did not comply with a lawful subpoena. I'd like to enter that into the record. Here is the subpoena to Mo Brooks, 
who did not comply. I'd like to enter that into the record. Here is the subpoena to Mr. Biggs, who did not comply. I'd like to enter that into the record. And here's the subpoena to Mr. McCarthy, who did not comply. I'd like to enter that into the record. There's an amendment coming to add some of those names into the contempt order. You vote to add those names and show the American people that we apply the law equally, not just when it's Democrats, right? It's a crime when it's Democrats, but when it's Trump and the Republicans, it's just fine. No, show that you're serious and that everyone is not above the law. Vote for that amendment, and I'll vote for the Hunter Biden contempt. I yield back.